or we're gonna come to the stove. I have it on medium high heat and I'm gonna put it in my olive oil. I don't only have vegetables, no dairy products, nothing, no butter. So I'm gonna be using my olive oil. And I'm gonna put in my diced onions and my tri bell peppers. Got a little bit of water here, so I'm trying to get out with my hand. Just let it saute for about a minute. A little longer than I expected, but hey, and I'm adding my mushrooms. Trying to dry this is good. <coughs> Thinking like these look, these some of these look real good. Maybe I should process it a little bit so I can get smaller. Now I'm gonna go ahead and season it. I'm gonna use my pot liquor. Put some in there. <laughs> and I also added some of my crushed red pepper flakes. Got a little flakes in here. If you want it more spicier, you can put some more. But if you don't wanna put none at all, you can leave it out. Now this will be good on some mashed potatoes. I know a lot of people do a steak. I don't know so much. Like unless it's like cut and like strips. Yeah. But all that big steak is uh uh. Guess what? Let's eat it. I know they're like, oh, I'd be glad to eat this. Not me so much. Alright, I'm just let this finish cooking for about two minutes. Okay, it's been about two minutes. Now something tell me, girl, just leave this long. Don't do too much. And then another part of me telling me, go ahead and add them carrots in like you were going to do from the beginning. You can always get sauteed mushrooms all around, but if you get any with carrots in it, I don't know if that's going to make a difference, but hey, we are going to find out. I don't want to overdo it. That's probably enough. That's a little bit here in there. Um, kind of like frozen a little bit, so I'm just going to like try to let the heat warm it up. Like I said, it's on low. I'm just enough for like five minutes. Now I don't know if I did a good thing, girl. <laughs> Actually, let's look this side. All right, I have it with my brown rice. I'm gonna just mix this one more time. It smells good. All right, I'm gonna put some on my rice. Oh, hey y'all. <laughs> y'all know I'm about to get into this taste test. And you seen it before, but you gonna say it again. Now, I ain't gonna lie to you. I do not like mushrooms. <laughs> and so I really don't know why I got them. But if you watch my channel, you know I can turn something nasty <laughs> into something good. A masterpiece. And that's what I tried to do here. Plus, I had to eat healthy. And I want a little bit different vegetables than what I normally eat. So, here goes. Now, it's the ponderment for me. <laughs> It's the swing about the back and forth the eyes for me. <laughs> I forgot to tell y'all the first one that I tried was without the rice because I wanted to get the actual taste to see if it would stand alone. And just then I realized that was enough for me <laughs> because it's the hard swallow and the twitching of the eye for me. <laughs> oh, what what's this? Well, ain't nothing but a stick of gum. Just seasoning my piece of gum because <laughs> it's exactly what it gave me when I was chewing it. Seasoned gum. <laughs> <laughs> that seasoning was on point, I ain't gonna lie. But eat it by itself, uh uh. <laughs> Get somebody else to eat it. Then it tastes like a gummy worm on the diet. <laughs> Y'all like, what? A gummy worm on a diet? <laughs> you know, when you have gummy worms in a liquid and it starts to like disintegrate a little bit? Okay, <laughs> that's exactly what it gets. So I decided to go in for another bite in case my taste buds deceived me the first time. <laughs> But I realized real quick, ain't nothing really changed. <laughs> it's still with seasoned and gummy. <laughs> yeah, that's me giving it a benefit of the doubt. <laughs> Psyching myself up to believe that it's better. Even though it's probably just a seasoning and taking over. So I was like, enough of this. Let me eat it with this rice. The way I plan it on doing it. And after a few seconds of eating it, I realized it's in his voice. What have I been waiting for? <laughs> <laughs> because that thing was miraculously delicious. <laughs> now, I know y'all like, okay, wasn't that the exact same mushrooms that you just had a few seconds ago and you said it was gummy and it wasn't really that good? Well, since y'all knows it, <laughs> and you must know, 
the rice was the way to go. <laughs> no, but for real, I see why people eat it with their like steak and stuff like that. Oh my goodness. I said on a few of my videos, some things that I ate, I needed to eat that with something else. Like they eat it by itself. Uh-uh. You gotta eat that with something else. And that's actually the same thing for these mushrooms. Once upon a time. <laughs> no, I remember a few years back. I know it's like story time, but it's gonna be it today. <laughs> well, for a few minutes. Just listen up. I don't know if I was trying not to laugh or uh, the spice was getting to me. <laughs> I forgot to tell y'all about the spice level. Yeah, it was probably like a two and a half. I know that might not seem like nothing to the people that can handle the spice, but to me, put on my boxing gloves and put me in the ring because I felt that kick in the back of my throat. <laughs> Now, I went to a restaurant, which will be unnamed, <laughs> for the first time a few years ago on, like, my lunch break. <laughs> Somebody, she bought me some lunch, so I didn't want to, you know, be too high with the things I picked on the menu. So, like, let me go for this sandwich. Now, I thought it was a Philly cheesesteak, but in actuality, it was a never cheesesteak. And I don't like, never? Yeah, meaning, like, girl, you should never got this. <laughs> Baby, when I tell you it was nothing but unseasoned mushrooms inside of bread with cheese. Because <laughs> what was that? So I politely pushed that to the side. <laughs> and no, I did not take it home in a doggy bag. Because, well, I'm trying to feed him that. Because I want him to use the bathroom in the bushes somewhere. And I have diarrhea all in my house. Because <laughs> that's exactly what's going to happen. <laughs> Say it with me now, upset stomach. <laughs> but to get back on track. Remember at the beginning when I wanted to know if those carrots going to add or subtract for the dish? Well, it actually added to it because it still had that crunch in it. That's what those, well, I can't want to say marshmallows. <laughs> no, mushrooms, not marshmallows. But yes, it needs that crunch since the mushrooms are kind of gummy and the rice don't have a bite. To so add them carrots to it. When I tell you, don't know my... <laughs> Now, some of y'all probably like, if it's so good, let me see your plate. <laughs> yeah, you see it? <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Almost gone. And is. <laughs> now, by itself, I'm gonna give it a four. <laughs> but eating it all together, <laughs> ten. Ten on that, baby. <laughs> Make sure you like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And please, hit this recipe up. <laughs> y'all have a blessed day.